Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH and I am back for another VR game spotlight video. And we are looking at a game called Zero G available on Steam right now. And I do apologize for the high audio. I don't really know of a way to lower it. I've tried a few things. And the interface in this is unfortunately rather hard to, like, I don't see where the option thing, or I don't really know where I'm supposed to do that. So, thankfully, this one is kind of a, there's not a whole, it's just an ambient, but there is a lot more kind of rockin' music that comes into play sometimes. Zero G is a really cool, um, really cool experience so I'm, I'm in this spacey I don't know space station whatever the heck I'm in right now I can look around and I'm just in this little kind of a pod in space so the whole premise behind this is it's like level based and you are basically flying through these environments trying to go through these checkpoints in zero G, uh, zero G in space. Whoa, what the hell? I didn't do anything. Okay, I must have just looked at something long enough. That's interesting. Well, here we go. <laughs> that was our main menu. We have our left and right sort of a thing here. Here's our first mission. I think I'm about five missions in so far I've played up to. And it starts getting really tricky. Like, you actually have to get oxygen bottles and stuff to keep yourself going. But you're trying to get through these obstacle courses in as quick a time as possible. And you're trying to get yourself into that little space station-y thing, or spaceship thing. So, I mean, the scale of this is just amazing. Like, watching the spaceships go by and everything is just really rad. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. Is... We're going to start here any second. Okay. See that bar? That's kind of pointing me where I have to go. Alright, I broke that target. i got to use my left analog stick to move forward. And my right analog stick to kind of steer my, kind of my Y axis. This one's pretty easy. Come on. Slide on in there, baby. Yeah. I, oh, a little bumpy landing, but we got it. And there you go. There's our first level. Um, took, it, it, for a while, it took me a, a bit to figure out the main menu just because, like, I tried hitting A on different things and it wasn't working. You actually have to hold A or stare at it, I guess, for a little while for it to work. So I was frustrated at first, but once I came in, it was great. So this is kind of my favorite track. Just rocking. Look at this ship. Alright, let's get some ship moving. Break some targets. This level uh, stumped me for a while because I was sort of floundering. Alright. Third level. Oh yeah, this one we start getting like asteroids and stuff. 
Okay, this one, I thought I was supposed to kind of, like, conserve my boost, my rocket, but I just gotta haul ass as fast as I can through these obstacles here in space. This game is just really, again, I reiterate, this game is freaking cool. Okay. Oh. Nice target. Up a little bit. Come on, baby. Not too high. Okay. Okay, my breathing is getting a little more and more on time. Son of a bitch. Okay, there's my ship. I gotta get in there. Come on, baby. We're coming in hot. Oh, God, we're coming in hot. Ooh! Smacked my head, but we're in. <laughs> Came in hot. beat this one. I think I'm like maybe two more levels in. One or two more. I think. Oh yeah, this one. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, is this one where I left off or did I beat this one? Oh, this is the one where I gotta climb. Yeah, okay, this is... Alright. Ah, how do I do this? Okay, get out of the thing. Turn around. Okay, go to the mine. I wasted a lot of time getting out of there. Sorry if there's any fan blowing. It's kind of hot here, so hopefully that doesn't blow into the microphone too much. Here we go. Go for these targets. There we go. We got okay, there's our ship. Gonna come in hot again. We're gonna come in fast. We're running low, come on. All ass, baby. Oh god. Come on. Ah, yeah. Doing it. This is just really cool in the yard. Kinda makes kinda makes me wanna play a drift. Oh, this is where I left off. This one kind of sucks. Uh, this one I was starting to have trouble, but I'm like, yeah, let's stop and record this. All right. Uh, oxygen. Yeah. Oh, hi. How you doing? Get up. Okay. Go around the, the thing. next level so I have no idea what's coming. Whew, can't believe I made that. Ooh, that's a cool looking planet. We'll probably wrap it up here. You get the idea of what this game is like but uh, this is really fun. I gotta say and you could do this on a flat screen but there's just this sense of immersion that wait where the hell what? What? Oh, I gotta, oh, I got Come on, give me those. Oh, no, 
look at me. Come on. Uh, oh man, let me start over, okay? Because I think I gotta get out of that thing faster. And I gotta get, try to get those canisters. Okay, well that was uh, that was something else, um, but yeah, these short little levels, um, almost like an arcade experience. Um, this is zero G. It's available on Steam. I saw it on one of my uh, oh, what do they call those things? Those little recommendation queue things that you get. I forget what they're called. Um, but I was trying to get some of the uh, trading cards, and uh, this was one of the games that came up under the VR section. I really wasn't sure what it was when I watched the trailer, but I gotta say, especially, like I said, when I started this game, I was really frustrated because I was looking at stuff. You know, you can see the cursor sort of moving there, and I guess if I look at it long enough, it highlights it too, but I just I wasn't sure how to get in to one of these uh, events, but once I figured it out, um, the sort of arcade nature of it, I really am enjoying this, and like I said, especially if somebody's into space stuff, and it, you, you don't want just like a, you know, your typical cockpit space shooter, be it simulation or arcade, you want something a little bit different in space, 
Um, it's almost, like I said, almost like a puzzle arcade sort of thing. Uh, I like it a lot. I could see myself coming back to this, and this is one that I think both in, in sense, uh, like, gameplay-wise and just cool factor of, you know, like, God, look at the scale of floating through space and you're actually doing something. Um, yeah, I just, I really am enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, highly recommend it. I, I don't think it's all that expensive. But it works with the Oculus. I don't know if it works with the Vive or not. Nevertheless, um, this is Zero G available in Steam. I don't believe I've seen it in the Oculus store for now. So this is one you're going to have to pick up through Steam. But um, yeah, I, am, I was very pleasantly surprised having loaded this up earlier tonight and I'm like yeah I gotta get this down on video this is something that I think people who are looking for something cool in VR might enjoy so Zero G available now through Steam hope you guys enjoyed it and again I apologize if some of the music is super loud over my actual commentary but like I said there's gonna be a lot of different things that are a little bit harder than the typical game video for me because on a normal game video I can go into window sounds and I can easily manipulate the sound volume that way or through the game some games I'm sort of able to do that in VR and some games I don't know how well it works because the way my audio recording software works is that I have to it records not my regular sound source, but it treats my Oculus, both my speakers and my uh, microphone, as its own thing. So Windows, the Windows 10 sound is actually different from my Oculus sound. Um, and same with my microphone, so I switch back and forth depending on what kind of game or tech I'm covering. You know, I have to switch between my Turtle Beach microphone audio and my Rift audio, uh, microphone and then my uh, Windows 10 sound or my Oculus headset sound. So it's going to be a little bit rough. Maybe I'll figure things out eventually and it'll just depend on the game. Also with the visuals, you know, some are full screen, some are tiny windows, some are a little bit larger windows. Some will just show like, you know, a one you know, they'll show one screen of what the game looks like. This game, I believe, shows you the both eyes, what you see out of both eyes. So again, that's just something that has not been standardized. What gets mirrored to the monitor that, you know, VR, again, it's so new that that's what is uh, kind of the Wild West right now. So you never know what a video is going to look like. But nevertheless, I will cover them and uh, give you my thoughts on the games and experiences themselves and accessibility or lack thereof of such experiences. So, uh, there you go. Zero G available through Steam. Pretty rad game, if I do say so myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.